Welcome to the Donut Man Family Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to show you how to make Okay, so let's start by adding in some oil. So about a couple of tablespoons that goes inside. That's, um, I'm using rapeseed oil over here. So in the meanwhile, as it's um, heating up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some uh, tomatoes and green chilies. So I'm gonna get one tomato and one green chili um, and just uh, chop it into pieces. Then I'm gonna add it into this blender over here. Okay, so let that go in. So quarter teaspoon cumin seeds. Quarter teaspoon of ajuane or uh, caram seeds. And then let's give it a mix as it's heating up. And then you'll begin to uh, start smelling the aroma, which is quite exquisite. Now add in half an onion that is uh, finely chopped. I'll go to the side, let's get that out. So we're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes now. Absolutely wonderful. Half teaspoon of uh, haldi or turmeric that goes inside. Half teaspoon of Kashmiri uh, red chili powder that goes inside. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper that goes inside. One teaspoon of coriander powder. That's that. One teaspoon of salt or salt to taste that goes inside. So let's give it a good mix. Now, I grinded the tomato and the green chili, um, so that can go inside now. Let's give it a sec. Just get a little bit of water um, inside uh, the blender. I'm just gonna add that in, just to like uh, moisten up a little bit. It's gonna get dry. Okay, that's perfect. Let the heat be, let the heat absorb um, some of this water that's been put inside. Now this is uh, one large potato that has been diced up, uh, chopped up in fine pieces. So I'm gonna add all of that in to here now. Okay, let's mix this nicely so that it covers all of the potatoes um, accordingly. So we're gonna stir this for a good couple of minutes. Nicely um, mix this. It goes in between each one. So we've added in um, 200 grams of uh, fine beans. As you can see, the, the green beans that I've got inside. And uh, fascinatingly enough, this is from Kenya. So all of you guys watching from Kenya, that part of the world. Okay, let's give it a good mix. And then now I'm gonna add in a, just, just a little bit, a tad bit of water into that so that it uh, nicely moistens up, let the heat absorb the water again. And then now what I'm gonna do is, uh, once I've mixed it, I'm gonna put it onto low fire and just cover it so that it heats up um, over a period of time and uh, cooks whilst that's happening. Okay, so let's uh, cover it up now. So now it's time to cover it up. Now, let this cook in low fire um, and uh, we we'll do this until you know we are satisfied that the potatoes have been cooked uh, well enough for us to have it. Okay, so uh, this has uh, heated up. If, um, look at that, absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of uh, garam masala powder that goes inside. Quarter teaspoon of uh, jiro powder, which is cumin uh, powder that goes inside. And then um, I've gotta get like a handful of uh, coriander and just um, you know, give it a good, for the presentation purposes and also, it's uh, quite nice to mix this in there, that's that. All right, so let me just give it um, a mix now. Okay, you can feel the softness of the potatoes as well, which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna add in um, some chilies uh, to garnish this with, so let's go in like so. A couple of green chilies to go in there as well. And that's that, and voila. So what I'm gonna do is just squeeze in a bit of like lemon juice into that, um, which uh, enhances the, just gives it a bit more of a zip. Always nice to like uh, 
use these little ingredients, you know, just to go the extra mile. So I'm sure that's gonna really give it that zip that you kind of want, and that's that. That said, like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the notification bell icon so that you are informed of our daily releases, share this content to as many people as possible, comment below whether you are going to try this out or whether you have any requests, because we do for people requests. And with that said, catch you in the next one.